Externalities are defined as the effects of a transaction between two individuals on a third party who has not consented to or played any role in the carrying out of that transaction. Analyze the externalities and or unintended consequences of the government's organizational processes on the Northeast. To implement changes, the government uses supply side policy, demand side policy, fiscal policy, and monetary policy. My name is Paul Warren, Multi Union Chairman for SSI UK on Teesside. Uh, my name is Steve Redman, uh, Vice Chairman for Multi Union on Teesside. If, if they'd have had earlier intervention, I do believe that the business rates for SSI could have had taken a serious look at. We were losing massive uh, amounts of money, uh, but yet the government was still taking them local business rates off. We've seen manufacturing decline now year upon year upon year, to, and I think it's some of that. Don't quote me, I think you're. Know, Something like 12 percent, whereas maybe 20 years ago it was around the 28, 32 percent mark. So not only have you got the constraints from an environmental point of view, you've right. also got you've also got the, the constraints that it is a level playing field on on state aid uh, and, and energy costs. So the government do have to come forward with a clear strategy about what they want for an industrial strategy for the UK. It's impacted massively, obviously, uh, you know, a large number of jobs gone, not only from SSI Direct, but from contractors and people in the supply chain, uh, and that's already in a, in a depressed area like Teesside, uh, where, the, you know, the, the unemployment levels are, are higher than national average anyway, so it's had a massive impact in the area. People lost their jobs, there were the villages that were surrounding, you know, it was, it was absolutely harrowing for them people. We're seeing work maybe in retail, you know, we've seen small retail places opening, mm -hmm. but we know that them places only, you know, I don't like to think that they're bringing the living wage at the moment, but I generally think that they're probably only bringing the, you know, the minimum wage, which isn't going to, isn't going to put any money, you know, at all back into this area. Along with that will come crime, crime will rise, house prices will drop, you know, it's all the money that is going to go out the area, Steve, it on retention of skills. Um, if we don't retain you know, the professionalism for people to be able to maintain the area, um, what do we expect? We'll sort of like, you know, the government will reap what they sow. To conclude, the North East is facing many challenges due to the questionable government organisational processes, creating many positive and negative externalities. Some of the positive externalities that we've seen are small shops opening, youth employment rising, as well as the car retail market rising. Some of the negative externalities that we've seen are crime increase, house prices decreasing, and an increase in lower skilled jobs retained by youth.